for today's video, I'll be doing basic tutorials para sa mga newly hired or newly assigned LIS or ICT coordinator. So, if you want to learn, gusto niyong matuto ng mga basics, ng mga basic uh, information or ng mga basic routines sa pagsasagawa ng LIS, keep on watching and tapusin na ang video. Let's go! Okay, so first na gagawa natin ng tutorial ay how to confirm a transferred out learner from the LIS system. So, of course, first step na gagawin natin is we need to log in sa LIS system using your username at the same time your password. Okay, so once ka nalagay na click sign in. Okay, so at this time, i-click natin ang learner information system. This one. And then, dito na side, dito na itong uh, transfer, transfer section, i-click natin ang tab na ito. So yan, click lang natin na kailangan natin i-confirm para mag-appear na sa uh, other school kung saan man nag-enroll yung bata. So, uh, dito banda sa right side, nandito yung button na confirm and take line. Okay, so as you can see, dalawa yung learners dito na uh, need ng confirmation para mag-appear agad sila sa system ng other school. So, uh, unahin natin itong isa. So, of course, para ma-confirm na para ma-confirm na transfer out learners na yung bata, you have to click the confirm button. Click lang natin yan. And then, okay, click natin pababa, or drag natin pababa. And then, dito nakalagay na kailangang fill up which is the transfer out documents uh, transmitted date. So, kailangan lang natin fill up yan. Kung kailan, kailan umalis ng school lang bata, transfer to other school. Okay, so, lagyan lang natin ng date. And then, dito sa remarks, optional na lang, since wala naman siyang asterisk mark. And, we will going to click the confirm button. Click natin yan. Yes, as you can see, meron ng blue button dito. This is the confirmation, or this is to confirm that the learner was successfully transferred out. So that's the process or procedure kung paano mag-transfer out ng bata from your system to the other school. So, so ang next man, uh, tutorial na gagawin natin is paano mag-enroll ng learner or students sa LIS using LRN or by names. Okay, so let's go. So first, kailangan natin i-click ang LIS or list of classes. I-click na natin yan. And then, mag-select tayo ng classes kung saan natin i-enroll ang bata. Okay, for example, dito natin siya gusto i-enroll sa grade 8 del Pilar. So, i-click na natin ang section which gusto natin siya i-enroll. And then, merong top or button dito na nakasulat enroll learner. Click natin yan. Okay, so proceed to enrollment. So, sige, try natin mag-enroll ng bata using uh, full name lang. Okay, so pag nalagay mo na, you have to click search. Okay, so ayan preview natin. Okay, this is the first way of enrolling students using the full name, which is the first name and the last name. Now, the second one is the easiest one. Sige, cancel muna natin. Ito na yung pangalawang paraan para mag-enroll ng bat. Of course, using the LRN, which is 12 digit. So, dapat, uh, pag tinipe nito, it must be accurate para tama talaga na i-enroll natin. Tamang pangalan na i-enroll natin sa LIS. Okay, so sige, try natin. Kailangan mo i-click is the search button. Okay, so as you can see, pareho lang sila. And then this time, ang i-click natin is the preview. Click the preview. And sa baba, click continue. Alright, okay, so ilalagay natin dito ang first attendance ng bata, which is August 29. Okay, that is the first day of the class. August 29. 2023. Okay, so, pag nalagay mo ng first attendance or date of first attendance, next na click is continue. Okay, so, ito na yung next page ng enrollment process. So, you can see here my question, is the learner transferred in or move in? Of course, no. Kasi dating students na dito. Okay, so, i-click lang natin pababa. Okay, so nakalagay dito, nakalagay dito no? So, ano bang uh, modality niya? Since face-to-face -face na tayo, ang kikiklik mo lang dyan is, of course, the face-to-face. -face. Then, drag mo pa baba. And now, you can now successfully click the enroll button. So, as you can see, nandun na siya. Successfully enrolled ang bata learner in Roman State. Hanapin lang natin kung talang na-enroll na talang siya. Okay, so nandun na siya. So, that's it. Successfully enrolled ang bata sa LIS. Ano nga ba magta-transfer ng learner from one section to another section. Okay, so first ay, kailangan natin i-click ang list of classes. And then, 
So for this tutorial, ang gagawa natin ng sample is uh, from grade 8 Rizal, itatransfer natin siya into section grade 8 del Pilar. Okay, so halimbawa sa Rizal siya. And then, gusto natin siyang ilipat from uh, to, from Rizal to del Pilar. Okay, so click profile nasa upper right and then as you can see merong dalawang choices dito the section and the view history okay so ang i-click natin is the section and then ililipat natin siya sa section del pilar okay so click natin del pilar okay so are you sure you want to move this there to section del pilar okay so click okay successfully transferred ng learner from section result to del pilar so that's it uh, halimbawa, pag gusto nyong malaman ang school history ng bata, so, hibli mo bang matrace ang pinagmulan or kung saan ang school background ng bata? Ang sagot ay yes. So, pwede nating malaman kung saan nag-elementary, kung saan uh, nag-aral ang isang bata. Okay, so, kung paano, kailangan nyong i-click ang list of classes. And then, puntahan nyo yung bata kung saan siya naka-enroll or anong section na bata so halimbawa kung result siya okay so say for example ayan baba tayo okay so say for example gusto nating malaman uh, kung saan nag grade 6 saan nag grade 7 si Takoken or Halim and then click lang natin itong profile and then merong button dito view history okay so i-click mo yan And that's it. Malalaman mo na kung saan siya nag-graduate ng grade 6, kung saan siya nag-grade 7. All of the past, all of the past school history ng bata, nandiyan lang siya. So, that's it. So, paano, nga, paano naman natin susolusyonan ang pending issues or pending transfers ng mga uh, estudyante natin sa school? Okay, so, uh, merong mga ways or mga paraan para mabilis nating maayos or ma-resolve ang mga pending transfers sa LIS natin. Okay, so first, kapag nasa malapit lang na school, i-contact mo yung LIS coordinator ng school. And the second one, kapag malayo naman, kausapin mo yung bata, uh, hingiin mo yung Facebook, uh, Facebook ng dati ng advisor and ikaw nang bahala magkipag-communicate doon sa dati ng advisor para ma-resolve yung pending transfer sa inyo LIS. Okay, so that's it. Sana po nakatulong ang mga tutorials na ginawa ko. If you find it helpful, please like, comment, and please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Maraming salamat.